are the kind of person always having malaria and fever this video is definitely for you i'm going to show you how to make this your malaria medicine and if you take this and your malaria refuses to go or your fever refuses to go just unsubscribe on this channel and if you take it it definitely go come back to super thanks this video because i have prescribed this for a lot of people and they are still taking me to the day so stay tuned this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make malaria and type of fever native medicine i've been doing this someone teach me this right so I'll be doing it that is very very effective when I have malaria typhoid. I don't do this. I've prescribed it for a lot of people and they are doing it and it also works on them. Okay. So I have my water here. So this here is lime, lime, lemon, garlic ginger and carrot i'm going to pour all of them inside this water this water is not enough i'm going to add much water so i'm going to add more water to this thing so that they can cook very very well the next thing i'm going to add this thing work like magic <laughs> If you drink this thing, the way you are going to be peeing, you are going to be peeing a lot. Then you will see that that fever is gone because I'm feeling a little bit sick. So that is why I'm preparing it. I prepared it last week, but I didn't drink. I'm going to prepare this one because I'm, I'm not feeling that strong. Okay, so, so that I can, you know, cure my fever. So I added carrots. Before I used to added more carrots on it, but because I don't have much uh, carrots in the house, that is why you see I added this. I used to added more more carrots. You can see this um, stuff. I don't know what you got. My hand is clean. This stuff. So I'm going to put it inside. I let this thing to cook for one hour. You can see this thing. This water is white. You can see it's white. When this thing cook and it's well cooked. The color is going to turn to yellow. It's going to be yellowish in color. So I'll cover it up. Allow it to cook for over two hours. So I'll see you guys when this thing is cooked. So when doing this, you'll be needing a jug. So I'll be using this particular jug. What I do is that I have some garlic, fresh garlic and fresh ginger here. So I'm going to put it them inside this jug one after the order we put in the water so i'm going to put in the water inside you can see i'm going to leave this one inside when the water is ready the tin is well cooked i'm going to be pouring that stuff inside i will show you guys so after cooking this for one hour i have you have this color the color is going to turn to yellow so i'm going to be cooking it for another hour like for 30 um like 30 um like almost one hour like 53 minutes almost one hour because i think the the ginger is not well done it's this strong you can see it's this strong i'm going to cook this that is why i always put enough of water so that you can't be adding water to it you have to cook it with one particular water you can see my water is here when it was cooking now my water is here so i'm going to allow this to cook for another one hour so when i after cooking to the extent so i'm going to allow you guys to see this is how the water look alike so this is what you will have sometimes maybe more yellowish this is how it look like this one i'm not going to waste it i'm going to put it inside that jug and i'm going to turn this inside you can see i have a full jug and the little cup i'm taking this little cup now take it in the evening before going to bed after eating after eating you are going to take it in empty stomach early in the morning when you wake up you take it when you warm it you can add honey 
you can add honey or or sugar if you like for me i don't have just take it in the morning in the evening before going to bed take it as well this does it i will see you guys on my next video after drinking this bye bye to malaria fever and all that sometimes all these native medicine are more good because i know it's work because i've recommended it for a lot of people so that's it guys i will see you guys on my next video bye guys